Well, we're out here just north of the town of Roslyn. Our mission this weekend is to do a couple things. One, we just want to check out the area. We want to scout it out. We want to see what's out here, see what this area has to offer and look for some dispersed campsites along the way, mark them on the map for future trips. But we're also looking for a spot to camp tonight. So we're hoping to find a nice spot by hopefully a river or a creek. We headed east over the Cascades because over on the west side in Seattle, it was dumping rain today and it was dumping rain up over the pass all the way up until we got over to the east side of the Cascades. And now it is much nicer little bit of blue sky poking through the clouds but most importantly no rain so let's see what kind of dispersed camping opportunities we can find out here and uh, show you what we find We're just kind of, I'm just exploring some stuff I had marked on the map, but this is all so close to the main road that I kind of figured that it would be pretty popular. So it's pretty easy to get to. Search continues. Well, we found our first dispersed campsite. Oh, actually we probably drove by, I don't know, 10 or 15 of them. So, so far this part of the National Forest is proving to be uh, a pretty good area for camping. There's a ton of spots by uh, the rivers and the creeks. Right now we're up above the river, so this campsite, there's a little trail that kind of walks down to it. Uh, it's an okay campsite, uh, but I think we can do better. We've got a lot of day left, so we're gonna continue on. I've marked this one on the map for the future. Yeah, so far this is a pretty great spot to come out and find a campsite, relatively easy to get to. The roads are pretty easy. You can, honestly, you can get out here and you know any kind of crossover or anything like that, but uh, I think the further up the trail we get, the, the road may get a little more interesting and a little bit rougher. Good start to the day so far. We'll see what's uh, further up the road. While the main Forest Service road we had followed north from Roslyn offered plenty in the way of scenery, wildlife, dispersed campsites, and even a few small water crossings, we were eager to explore a bit further off the beaten path. And so, when we came across the next spur road, we decided to take it, and we were rewarded with a fun, narrow, rocky road that quickly gained elevation. This bit of impromptu exploration, while fun, didn't yield a suitable campsite. So we headed back down near the river to a spot we had scouted out and marked on our map an hour or so earlier.
Well, I think that this will do for our campsite for the night. I would say today was a massive success. This area we've never been to before. We wanted to scout out for dispersed campsites for future trips and obviously stay somewhere tonight. We saw so many campsites. We pulled into so many little spurs and a lot of them were really good. So I think we'll definitely be back out this way. But this site right here was the winner. We've got a great fire pit. We just set up the awning. It's just raining a little bit, but I think it's gonna clear up. We've got this creek right behind us, so we'll probably sleep really well tonight with the sounds of the creek. And so we're just gonna relax for a little bit now that we're here and uh, probably walk around, explore this campsite a little bit later and uh, I'll show you around as well. But this looks like it's gonna be a pretty good place to spend the rest of the day and the night and uh, just slow down a little bit and enjoy not being in the city. This is definitely a much needed weekend getaway. It just feels good to be back out here and back out in the Pacific Northwest camping. Christine and I realize it's been almost a year since we've camped in Washington, which is crazy to think, but we've been on a lot of adventures, Utah, Colorado, Southern California since then. So it's nice to be back home in the forest. Yeah. Rain has stopped, finally. It rained on us for a couple hours. Not too bad, but it did keep us kind of sheltered under the awning. We got to explore the campsite a little bit, hang out by the creek. We got a fire going. I chopped some extra wood from some downed trees just to make sure we have plenty of wood for tonight. And now, Christine is just about to get started with dinner, and I am really excited about this dinner. It's uh, actually a dinner we've made a couple times at home over the last few months, and we're kind of obsessed with, so. I'm gonna go over there and uh, see what she's got going on. Well, this smells amazing. So yeah. tell us, chef, what do we have here? Uh, tonight we have 
pesto linguine with chicken and cherry tomatoes. Okay then. What's the verdict? Thumbs up! You want in on this? Yeah? You want in on this too? Well, good morning. I have this theory that sleeping next to running water, whether it's a river or a creek like this, I just knock out. I slept really well. And this morning, Jeff and I are kind of just taking it easy. We're really not in a rush to get going. So we're just relaxing by the fire. All in all, I really like this spot really close to the city, but far enough away that I don't have to worry about the usual sounds of the concrete jungle. Good morning, Indiana. What are your thoughts on this campsite? Are you a fan? Did you sleep well last night? Maybe not. All right, so I, uh, I fear that this may be the last video on our channel that anyone takes seriously. Because this morning I made coffee and I started a fire. But the fire I made, I cheated. I used a fire starter. That's like sacrilege. And then I made coffee, but instead of making a coffee montage, I just made instant coffee. <laughs> so I think between the instant coffee and the fire starter, no one's ever gonna watch one of our videos again. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got fire and it's warm and it's lovely and I have coffee and it's hot and it's caffeinated. And so I'm pretty happy and, uh, and, and I'm okay with my life choices. Well, I'm just out doing a little bit of exploring around camp. The weather is a little bit nicer today and since we've got some time, I thought I would walk around a little bit and see if I could get to the Cleelum River, which is just behind our campsite. And uh, I did make it there. It was a little bit harrowing to get there, uh, but I did manage to make it there. But really the coolest thing about this spot and, and walking around is finding all these little creeks and these little waterfalls and these little pools. And uh, it's just so beautiful out here. This is just such a nice escape from the city. And it's just such a great mental reset spending a day out here so we're just going to enjoy the rest of the morning before heading back home this afternoon While our adventures over this past year had taken us to some truly amazing places, this trip reminded us that there is, in fact, no place like home. So be sure to subscribe as over the coming months, we plan to explore the very best that the Pacific Northwest has to offer.